when you click on one line it highlights the whole triangle This is Zizi card and welcome to my AutoCAD tutorial. This tutorial is for total beginners of AutoCAD. It's for people who haven't used AutoCAD before. So if you are interested in learning more about AutoCAD, click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you'll be notified anytime I drop any new video. Thank you very much. So this is, this is the user interface of the AutoCAD app. So to start a new drawing, you click on start drawing. Left side here is my recent files, my old works. And the same thing is actually here. And here on the far right is where we have the notifications. So to start a new drawing, we click start drawing. So on my left hand side is the application area. The application icon where you have the new open save save as imports and other and other clicks and similar to the application icon the same shortcuts are at the top over here then here we have the drawing tools then we have the modification tools annotation tools then layers then here is the working area So to draw a line, you just click on the line icon. So when we click on any part of the working area, you see the line. You click once, then you leave the cursor. See most people, most people like to click and hold, which is not done. You have to click once and leave the cursor. It gives you a rubber band like this. So immediately you click the command line here says specify next point or new or undo but the U is highlighted meaning you can either type U and press enter or you can just type the full undo but it's easier to just type U instead of typing the full undo so you click you can have a nice rectangle here Anytime you are done drawing, just press enter on the keyboard. Or you can press escape. You can press escape once or a couple of times. It still doesn't make any difference. So after the line 2, there is a polyline. I'll show you the difference between the line and the polyline. I'll draw the same rectangle here with a polyline. Press enter. So enter on the keyboard. So you realize that when you click on one of the lines here, it highlights just a single line. It highlights a single line. Anytime you want to, anytime you want to undo the command, you just press escape. Then the highlighted line goes. But for the polyline, when you click on one line, it highlights the whole triangle. Then press escape. Then you have a circle here. If you realize there is an arrow down here on the circle. When you click on the circle, it gives you different types of circles. This is the center radius. When you click on the center radius circle, you have to click on an empty space then you give the radius you give the radius of the circle or you press D to give the diameter which is twice the radius 
so we've not started adding dimensions yet so i'm just going to put a normal circle here then we'll go to the arc okay let's do another type of this is the center diameter these two points so the two points refers to two points on the circumference of the circle so you click all you have to do is to specify the diameter the value you give here between the diameter of the circle so let's look at the end soon you have different types of arcs you have three points center start center and then you have start center at the angle you have other types of other types of arcs here we have a rectangle so you click then the end point is here or you can either specify the area you type a down here in the command line you type a to specify the area or you type d to specify the dimensions you want to give to your rectangle So now we come down here to look at the tools here. This is the auto mode tool. When you click, all the lines you draw. So let me click on line. All the lines you draw will be in multiples of 90 degrees. So here is nine, here is zero, here is 19, 180. 270 360 to be in multiples of 90 multiples of 90 can press enter to end the command then we have another tool here which is the puller tracking tool so when we click on the arrow here can get 45 degrees 90 degrees 135 180 so when i click on this command over here then i select line so we have zero degrees here 45 degrees in multiples of 45 degrees then 90 degrees yeah in that order always in that order so let's clear everything here okay let's i forget you have different types of highlighting you have different types of highlighting you can either highlight your drawing from the right to the left let's skip all from there from the left to the right or from the right to the left so the blue the blue line which is from the left to the right indicates the window selection it means it has to the selection has to touch every part of the object you want to select before it will be selected so here when i select just this part it's not going to be selected but for the green selection which is from the right to the left even if i select just a little portion of the triangle the whole thing will be selected a little portion the whole triangle will be selected then we have the lasso selection that one you click and hold so when it touches just a small part the whole line will be selected it's because this is not a polyline that's why it's just this line that has been selected if we were to be a polyline the whole thing will be selected so the lasso 
and this is a windows a window selection so you have to select every part of the line before the whole before the triangle will be selected When I ate the Zizi kebab meals this morning, ah, <sighs> what a beautiful taste! Of I, I loved it, I loved it, and I even just asked you one question.